Hey, you guys. Um, I just not too long ago got finished driving. And so I'm sitting in the garage having me a drink. And I'm just thinking about some things from YouTube or whatever. Okay. And I got something to say. Yeah, I know I'm a little crazy, but I don't even care. Big A, um, if you and your sister are not speaking on whatever terms y'all own, okay, I feel you on it. Me and my sister do that. Me and my sister, the only difference is we have the same mama but different dad, and my dad raised her, okay? So, she's not treated any differently. She's older than me. She be sometimes treated better than me, you mean? But what I'm, I want, I'm, I'm saying all that to say, um... If, if some dude sent me, like, some video of my sister and we was not on speaking terms, um, the last thing I'd do would be to put it out there on the net because I don't even want to see it. You feel me? <laughs> Yet alone let the whole world see it. Not only that, okay, with y'all case, seemed like y'all like being around each other, okay, when y'all was getting along. It seemed like knowing y'all background and history from like, you know, 15 to 30 minutes <laughs> of what we see, what y'all show us, um, it seems like to me you would or could have or should have took advantage of this situation and this could have been an opportunity for you and your sister to be um, the tightest y'all ever been. Somebody hit you up on a, on, on a, uh, your email and sending you this? Nah, either you, I would have ignored it or I'm finna, first of all, I'm gonna cuss this nigga out. <laughs> no matter what I do, I'm gonna cuss that nigga out, period. Second of all, um, cause what the fuck you hit me up for about it? You know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, second of all, I would have either ignored it or if I did go to her and we went talking, that's gonna be a way that we start back talking. Cause we finna team up on this nigga. It's gonna be us against him. Like what happened to your loyalty, like, stop playing with me, you know what I'm saying, um, this could have been the time that you guys, no, like, no matter whether y'all talk or not talk, this would have been a bond that y'all had, like, it was supposed to have been y'all against that nigga, never you and him against her, period, you have nephews that are, like, having to deal with this, you know what I'm saying, you have, you know, one in college. Like, what what are they watching? What if they're watching this? You know, um, the oldest one, he feels some kind of way. But what I can say is they, they are so respectable. They are. No matter what you say about them, they are respectable. And they haven't said anything, but you don't think they don't feel some kind of way? Look at what, like, he feels some kind of way, and I know y'all don't talk, but you can even tell in the last video. What about her mama? What about his mom, his, her, her husband's family? You probably don't care because you don't care about what your own mama, like, feel, but maybe you should start trying to, um, change that. Like, you know, try to think, put your feet in someone else's shoes, you know what I'm saying? And see, you know, like, try that out. Because this right here ain't cool. And, you know, I watch your channel all the time. You know, I don't leave no hateful comments. I leave positive comments if I do. You know what I'm saying? But this right here, I feel like it needs to be addressed. You know what I'm saying? This something that her and her family should not have to go through. And you should not look at it like... Um, I ain't got no kids, so I don't care. 
that's the more reason why you should care. If that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, but still, yeah. You know, I don't know if you, you know, I know you say, you delete comments that you don't, you want to see all positive comments on your page. And that's kind of like the same thing. You you talk about Cindy, she cutting off hers. You cut off the people that are keeping it 100 with you. And I don't say, I don't really say too much, but I'm just saying, I see that's what you do because I read your comments. You're saying, I'm deleting comments. So it's, you can't talk about Cindy. It's calling the kettle black. You can't do that. I mean, you can, but it ain't cool. You contradicting yourself. I don't want that kind of friend or nobody around me that can't tell me, what, oh, you know you look a mess when you go out. That can't keep it 100 with me. Oh, you got a bug in your nose. Oh, you got a bug in your eye. Oh, some of your teeth. They let you walk around. It seems like you want people to just walk around with you and I need to tell you nothing. I don't like that, but I know a lot of people that do. And if that's you, we'll know how to play your game. But at the same time, like, I don't even want to play like that. We grown. We want to see everybody do well. You know what I'm saying? People like me don't even want to see the family get to this low. Like, that's bad, bad. You know what I'm saying? I know things may happen where you may cuss one person out or whatever, but this just going, it's, it's not the high road. It's something like the road, you know what I'm saying, that you um make a mistake and turn down and it's a dead end. You know what I'm saying? It's that road where it, you turn down and it's a, it, it's a um dirt road. Ain't got no pavement on it. That's the road you took. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Um, I just had to get this off my chest. Um, I don't know if you may see this, if you may not, if you may come at me, if you may not. If you do, it's all to the good because, you know, I've been dealing with stuff like this. My son get all kind of hatred and it falls on me. I get it too. So I'm used to it. My, my skin is real tough. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to say thank you for tuning in to meet your girl, Miss Awesome Lawson, also known as Mama Mario. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.